Hi guys, welcome to Rodha. My name is Ray Prakash, and I will welcome you all to the next class of statistics. So this is statistics this is an important topic for CAT and ZAT. And in the last class we saw measures of central tendency. Uh, here we will see measures of dispersion of data, right? And before that we have that information information on NST here, National Scholarship Test. A lot of people are already giving this. It has become very famous. Uh, people are winning Amazon vouchers also. Okay. Many have promised to gift me actually, but I'm yet to receive any gift with this. So it's it's actually a very good test race because it will give give you a good uh, a good uh, uh, ranking and your level of uh, current standing right now among all the aspirants. Every Sunday it is held from five to five thirty five forty p.m. This Sunday it is LRDI. So one Sunday it is quant, one LRDI, and one verbal. And people are actually winning it. And uh, in this festival season, all are enjoying with this also. Okay, so just also you should try your luck. For this winning also, as well as the more important thing is basically you will try to get a uh, a free test. Obviously, it's a free test, right? A free test to look at uh, your current standing right now and and how much you need to work hard. So we have also that same day analysis. Okay. So once you do, once you finish this case, case this uh, test from five to five forty, we have same day analysis from seven pm to eight pm. Right. Same day we'll do it. Okay. So. Just enroll to the link in the comment. So uh, enrollment link I'll pin in the comment. Okay. Just enroll to that and see you with some good quality questions. There are good, good some called uh, good quality questions of moderate and advanced level in this test. Okay. Now let's come back to our statistics, right? See, so basically statistics will now start off with measures of this this person. Okay. So what are measures of this person, guys? Let's see. Measures of dispersion, measures of dispersion. Okay, that is data dispersion actually, right? So basically, the first in that uh, field is range. Okay, so first is range. Second is quartile deviation. Okay, quartile deviation. It's an important concept, quartile deviation. Okay. A lot of time in LRDI, uh, we have seen it. Okay, in candlestick diagram and all. So then there is one uh, standard uh, de sorry mean deviation, mean deviation. Then the next one will be standard deviation. Okay, and the fifth one will be variance. Variance here. Okay, so we will see all these things here. Okay, now let's do one by one, guys. So what is range? Okay, so first one is range. So range is quite simple actually, right? This is nothing. This is this has nothing to do with that functions and graph that range in that chapter. Okay, nothing to do with. So range is simply a uh, maximum minus minimum. In any data, what is the maximum minus minimum that is called the range here? Okay. So for example, uh, if I want to calculate the range in any data, right? Let's say for any data. Okay. So for example, if I write here the range. Okay. N. Like you can write some data, random data. Two, three, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. So what is the range here, guys? So its range will be simply thirteen minus two. That is maximum minus minimum. It equal to eleven. So eleven is the range here. Okay. So the range is quite simple. Okay. Any for any given data set of data, multiple uh, we can have ten observations, twenty observations, right? You just need to see what is the maximum and what is the minimum value. That's it. Okay. Then second thing is here, and the important one is quartile deviation. Okay, that is quartile deviation. Okay. Let's look at that in detail. Actually, quartile deviation here. What is quartile deviation? Okay. So quartile deviation here is deviation. Okay, quartile deviation, right? That is quartile deviation here. Okay. What is quartile deviation here, guys? See, basically, what what are quartiles here? So quartile basically. Divides, huh? The values distribution into four equal parts. So in data distribution, quartile divides it into four equal parts. Actually, okay. Let's say we have we represent data on a line here. Okay, it will be like Q one, Q two, and Q three. Okay, this is really this is a quartile will divide basically. So now this part, this Q one is called the first quartile, Q two is called the second or middle quartile, and Q three is called the Third quartile here, okay, and then this quartile. I'll take some example, guys. 
then quartile deviation is actually given as q3 minus q1 divided by 2 that's the quartile division here for example for example let's say i take up a data here right for example if we write some few, uh, few data here like for example 5 9 13 15 21 23 and 25 okay so what is in this case i need to find the quartile deviation of this data what is the quartile deviation here okay so to understand what are the what are the values of each value terms right quartile deviation for example so first thing here is i know that quartile div division is what that is q3 minus q1 by 2 so what is q3 and q1 here okay so basically q3 is Q, uh, sorry q1 is always when you divide this line this this is actually seven numbers here right one two three four five six seven okay so basically when you have you place if you write like this five nine thirteen fifteen twenty one twenty three and twenty five so you should be able to place this q1 q2 q3 such that it divides this data in distribution into four equal parts right that's why i told in the last slide this should be in four equal parts so for example in data of seven so q1 should be the second term q2 should be the fourth term and q3 should be, should be the sixth term in data of seven right in data of seven this seven numbers here one two three four five six seven so now if you if you place like this actually you will see that there's one term before q1 one term after q1 one term before q2 one term after q2 one term before q3 and one term after q3 right? that's how we should place it that's the value of q1 and q3 here okay so now that means basically like if, if you want to get the value of uh, q3 here right ah, yeah so sorry qd here what is qd qd is q3 minus q1 by 2 what is qd that is quartile deviation q3 what is q3 here 23 minus 9 divided by 2 that is 7 7 would be the answer here. Right. So basically, if I try to round, if I, if I try to generalize it basically, so what is Q1? So if there are 7 terms here, so Q1 is the second term. Right. So I, I can say if there are n terms actually, so what is Q1? n plus 1 by 4 term. Okay. And what is Q3? It is n, uh, it is basically thrice of that. Right. If there are 7 terms, so n plus 1 by 4, 7 plus 1 by 4, that is second term here if there are q what is q3 here n plus 1 by 4 into 3 into 3 right because 2 into 3 would be equal to 6 that is equal to q3 that's q3 is 23 here okay that is 3 into n plus 1 by 4 term here that's the q3 so for every data this is quite uh, useful right calculating the quartiles here for every data it is useful okay so let me take, take some example when it is not a multiple of 3 also right or not a multiple of uh, two also okay for example uh, for example um, take up a question that need to find the quartile division of basically uh, let's say 7 12 16 okay uh, 19 21 27 30 then 32 then 37 okay 3 to 5 Oh, and then the 39 okay so what is the quartile division right what is the quartile division in this case i need to calculate here if you want to calculate the quartile division here so if i want to find there are 10 terms right now there are 10 terms actually so i know that qd is equal to what q3 minus q1 by 2 if we observe the data what is q what is q1 here so there are 10 terms right okay so 10 terms means what is q1 so q1 will be n plus 1 by 4 10 plus 1 by 4 that is uh 2 3 by 4 oh sorry yes correct 2 3 by 4 now this what do you mean by when it is a fraction right 2 3 by 4 so 2 3 by 4 basically means 2 plus 3 by 4 here okay if you see guys so now 7 is a term here okay 7 12 16 19 21 27 32 37 and 39 okay 39 okay if you observe here, so this first term is 7 and second term is 12. Sorry, uh, second term is 12 and third term is 16. I want 2, 3 by 4. That is between second and third term. Actually, 2 plus 3 by 4 means 
after two and before third term and there's a gap of four here there's a gap of four right there's a gap of four actually right so three by four means third term of this gap of four so basically two plus three by four so out of four it's three fourths will be three that is 12 plus 3 will be equal to what? 15. That's 3 by 4. Okay. There's a gap of 4. I want 3 fourths actually. Right. That is. So in a, in a gap of 4, 3 fourths is the third number. That is 3. Okay. So 12 plus 3 will be equal to 15. That means my Q1 is 15 here. Okay. That means my Q1 is 15. Okay. Now what is Q3 here guys? If Q, what is Q3 here? So Q3 is basically. Again, what is Q3? If, if you calculate Q3 from this part, right? It is thrice of n plus 1 by 4. Yeah. Q1 was n plus 1 by 4 actually. 4 term. Okay. So basically it will be uh, n plus 1 by 4. And its thrice will be what? If you if, if put 10 here, it becomes uh, 2, 3 by 4 into 3. That becomes, uh, I think, uh, 8. Uh, sorry. Yeah. 2, uh, if you put n equal to 10 a, 11 by 4, 33 by 4, that is 8, 1 by 4. So 8, 1 by 4 means 8 plus 1 by 4, right? So basically 8 in between 8th and 9th term. What is the 8th term here? So 8th term here is uh, 4 to 6. I made something, right? Yeah, 30 I made here. Okay. After 27, 30. So after 27, it should be 30. Okay. So in between 8th and 9th term here, right? So you see here guys, this is 4 to 6 to 8 to 10. Okay. So I, I want between 8th and 9th term here. So this is 32 to 37 here. So there's a gap of 5 here. There's a gap of 5 and I want 1 fourth of it. So gap of 5 and I want 1 fourth of it. So 5 by 4 is 1.25. So what is my Q, Q3? So my Q3 will be equal to this 8th term is 32 plus 1 by 4th of this gap that is 32 plus 1.25 that is equal to 33.25 right so q3 is 33.25 so 33.25 minus 15 by 2 that is equal to 18.25 by 2 that is equal to 9.125 that should be the answer okay this is the value of qd here okay that's the funda behind it Quartile division. Okay, so Q1 and you get to calculate this values of Q1 and Q3 here. Okay, and that you can easily calculate by uh, this funda. So just take that like it is 8 plus 1 by 4. That means 8th term and 1 by 4th of the gap. Second term and 3 by 4th of the gap. Got it, right? So I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay, now let's move on to our next part actually. So our next part will be a mean deviation. Okay, what is mean deviation? Okay. Let's move to mean for mean deviation guys. Third part will be mean deviation. Now what is mean deviation? Again, a uh, simple thing actually, right? Just need to understand by data only. Okay. So let's say uh, I have an example here. For example, I take, <coughs> I need to calculate the mean deviation of, let's say the data here is uh, 235911. 2, 3, 5, 9 and 11. Yes. So now uh, I want to calculate the mean deviation, right? So for the mean deviation, it is actually, <coughs> you just need to calculate the mean first. Okay. What is the mean guys? So what is the mean? So it's like it is done in two steps, right? Step one. Step one, calculate the mean. Once you calculate the mean, so it mean will be, mean means simple average, right? Mean means simple average. Okay. So it mean will is it come out to be 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 11 by 5. That is 5, 5, 10, 9, 19, and 30. 30 by 5 is 6. Okay. So 6 is actually the mean here. Right. And then in step 2, it actually you need to take the deviation from the mean of the each term. Right. So always take the positive deviation. That means basically if mean is 6, so 6, so 6 to 2, that deviation is 4. Division will difference, right? So obviously the positive difference that is 4. So 6 to 2 difference is 4. 6 to 3 difference is 3. 6 to 5 difference is 1. 6 to 9 difference is 3. Always positive difference. Okay. And 6 to 11 difference is 5. Okay. So 6 to 11 difference is 5 here. That divided by 5 actually. Right. Again you, you divide by 5. Okay. So that is basically 
एग्जाम्पल 7 eight, 10 12 uh, okay so let's the mean here. Okay, what is the mean 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 so first step calculate the mean. In step calculate calculate in 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 what is 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 mean here so mean is equal to uh, this difference by two, right? the difference by right? so sum by five sum by six 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7